Good morning, everybody. Hello. Good morning, Rupert. Good morning, my girls. How are you today? Are you doing good? Give me a thumbs up. Are you doing good? Yes. Yes. Thank you. It's lovely to have you join us. We are in a lovely tropical place. Can you see the beautiful water in the background? And it's moving. And can you see the plants? Isn't it beautiful? We're going to have a beautiful lesson in a beautiful place. Isn't it nice? Okay. Today is Thursday. And it's the 14th of May. So let's count to 14. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. It's the 14th of May 2020. Okay, do you remember what we need today? Let's take a look at our desk. Okay, we need our macaroni. Do you have your macaroni stuck already? Do you have it? If you don't, just get a board and we can stick it. It's fine. It's absolutely perfect. Okay, we're going to do some threading. So you need some string or some dental plus. Okay, then I've also got some colored macaroni, well, penne actually. And you don't have to color it, but I just put some colors in. And we're going to make a necklace with this. Okay, so you need a few pieces of, you don't have to color it in. No, I only just did that for fun. Okay, it just needs to be plain. It's absolutely fine. Okay, so we need this. And then don't forget your string or your dental floss. Okay, here's my string, dental floss. Either one of those will work. Okay, and don't forget your egg box and your scissors and your glue. Okay, because we're going to make egg box flowers. That's going to be fun. Okay. Let's go to our story. My colors. Okay, we're going to read a rainbow book. Can you see my beautiful rainbow? Isn't it beautiful? Okay, let's see if you can tell me what colors. Lauren the rabbit can't decide which color scarf to buy. What color can you see here? What color is this? Red. It's red. Can you see? I like red, says Charlie Cockrell. It's the color of my roof. Okay, can you see the red roof? There we go. It's the color of my comfy kennel, he tells Lauren. Barry the sheepdog loves orange. Okay, can you see the color orange? Looks a bit sparkly to you. It probably looks a bit like gold, doesn't it? Okay. So Barry the sheepdog likes orange because it's the color of his kennel. What is your favorite color? Do you have a favorite color? I like blue. What color do you like? Say it again. What's your favorite color? Mm, turquoise. Turquoise, that's a good color. Lauren asks the lambs their favorite color. We love yellow. The color of warm sunshine they bleat. I also like yellow. It's a nice color. Maria the cow prefers green. Can you see the color green? It's the color of the grass she moves. That's right, says Lauren. Let's eat some now. She chuckles. I'm hungry. Green is also a good color, isn't it? Okay, let's turn over. Julius the eagle swoops overhead. Blue is the best he calls down. It's the color of the open sky where I can hover and soar. I also love blue. I love baby blue. Mrs. Owl can't decide which hat to wear to a party. Look at all her hats in the tree. <laughs> Indigo is a pretty color, says Lauren. 
Yes, it's like the dark blue sky at night. Can you see the colour there? Who's Mrs. Owl? Wow, she's got lots of hats. Hmm. Mrs. Owl decides to wear her violet coloured hat. Violet is like purple, isn't it? Just a little bit darker. Suddenly, a rainbow appears in the sky. That's it, exclaims Lauren. I will choose the rainbow scarf. It has all the colours, she chuckles. I think rainbow colours are good. Pretty, don't you think? Rainbows are beautiful. And that's our rainbow book. My colours. Do you remember the song Building Up the Temple? Do you remember that song? We're going to sing it together and we're going to build like this. Okay? Are you ready? Let's build. One, two, three. Building up the temple, building up the temple, building up the temple for the Lord. Come help little girls, come help little boys. We are building up the temple for the Lord, for the Lord. Good, lovely. Okay, shall we get straight to threading? Because then after that, we are going to do some, some movement and singing and dancing. Okay, do you have your macaroni ready to thread? Do you? Okay, there's my macaroni. I just got it on a shiny board because I had one of those. Okay, what are you going to use? A string or a dental floss, okay? I'm going to turn it here like this. So we're going to start. You have to hold it like this. Okay. We're going to start threading from the bottom. Okay. You've got to push it through. And then you've got to pull it the other side. Don't pull it too far because it will just come right out. So just before it goes there. Okay. Now we're going to go. You can turn it if it's easier. And we're going to go through the hole. You can go through this side. Or you can go through this side, okay? I'm using the dental floss, so it's quite hard. You've got to push it through. Okay, are you threading? Pull, and then careful it doesn't get stuck on your paper. There we go, good threading. It's fun to thread, isn't it? Okay, now we're gonna go through the other side. Okay. And you just have to keep threading. Sometimes it's a bit hard. If you're using string, I'll show you with the string as well. Okay, and then you pull the other side. Okay, and if you're using string, sometimes the string can get a little bit yucky, okay? On the end, if you cut it, it does help a little bit, okay? So you just cut the end off, okay? And then you can just thread it through. And if it doesn't want to go through, you can just, you actually just lick the end like that. And then you put it in like that. And that seems to keep it together. Okay. So you can use either. Either one. I want you to thread it right up to the top for me. Okay. See, I'm using dental floss and string. It doesn't really matter what you use. And I want you to go in and out of the macaroni. Okay, in and out of the macaroni. Are you done yet? Lots of work, lots of concentration. <laughs> I'm not done yet either. Okay, and then you just pull it, okay? Pull. Okay, you can do either way. You can go in from this side or that side. You can go up and down. See, I'm making a little zigzag pattern here. Okay, lots of fun. Here we go. Mm -hmm. And you can do this anytime at home. If you want to thread. Okay, pull. Look, I'm making a zigzag. Okay. And you can always go back down again if you want to. 
and a good idea would be would be to use try with your your left hand if you're not left-handed try with your left hand it's quite difficult okay there's my threading but I'm gonna go back down again okay try and go through the other side might be more difficult especially with the string that's thicker okay How's the threading going? Is it fun? It's super fun, isn't it? Okay. And then you can always just cut the end off if you want to. And if you want to keep it like that, you can tie it because it makes a pretty pattern. But I think you must keep it and use it again. There we go. Can you see my string and my dental floss? Lovely. Are you done? Are you done? Are you ready to move on? Okay. There we go. We're going to stand up now. And we are going to get our bodies moving. Okay. Are you ready? I need you to stand up for me. Come on. Let's get moving. Okay. Number check a boom. Let's go. This is a repeat after me song. So make sure you repeat everything I say and do. Okay. Side to side. Go. Chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka rocket, chicka rocket, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka rocket, chicka rocket, chicka boom. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One more time. One more time. Baby style. Baby style. I said a boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, have you here we've just done some threading okay I'll show you my threading and we read a lovely book okay let's go to our desk okay we did some threading with our string or our dental floss okay would you like to make some 
flowers. Paper flowers out of the cardboard. Come, let's get our cardboard. Not our cardboard, our egg boxes, but they are made out of cardboard. Okay, I've got two pieces here just because Shiloh's going to help me today. Do you have your egg box? I'll show you what you're going to do, okay? We're going to cut out, can you see here? We're going to cut out these pieces over here to make a flower, okay? So, we're going to cut around there, and we want our flower to be like that, okay? So, you're going to cut out these pieces and keep the petals, okay? I'm going to show you now, don't worry, and we are going to make flowers, okay? So, look what I'm doing. Okay, so we have to cut from the top, and then we're going to go up again. Your egg box might look a little bit different to mine, and that's okay. So try and cut as high up as you can. Try and get all the pieces of the egg box in, okay, because that's going to be our flower. Okay. Okay, remember how we hold our scissors? Let's go to our close cam and I'm going to show you, okay? Okay, can you see my fingers? My thumb is over here and my two fingers are at the bottom, okay? And we open, close. We don't use our other hand to hold the scissors, okay? Only one hand. If you need to put more fi uh, fingers in the bottom, you can. And we keep it straight. Up, open, close. Open, close, okay? You use your other hand to hold it. Okay, let's go back to our desk and you can have a look. It is it is a bit difficult, so if you need mommy to help you, just ask her to help you. Okay. Okay, so you actually have to cut it out. But you'll see how nice it's going to look. Okay, so I'm turning my box, okay? I'm not, I'm not turning my scissors, I turn my box as I cut. And if you're really struggling, you can always just tear it a little bit. Okay, it actually does tear quite nicely. If you'd rather tear it, look, tearing also works. Okay, there we go. So this is my flower. So that's what we want, a piece of the egg box, okay? And if you're struggling, look here. All you have to do is tear it. Tear it. Use your fingers and tear it. It tears much easier than cutting. Why don't you tear yours? Okay, see, that's the one I just tore it. It's much easier just to tear it out. Okay, so just use your fingers and we're going to tear around the edges there. It tears very easily. Okay, ask mommy if you need help. Okay, I've torn a few out now, and then you're going to make, you can cut out as many as you want, or tear as many as you want out. Now, I think the tearing will work the best for you. There we go. Okay, can you see what we're doing? We're just tearing out the bottom of our egg box, where the egg with the egg sitting, okay, because we want to make a flower, okay, lovely, here we go, and we're going to cut some petals in the flower, so in the egg box flower, just cut some petals out, okay, like this, we want to cut the petals, you can also tear it, look, tearing works just as well, Tearing is actually a lot easier than cutting it. See? Okay, so we just want a few spaces in between for our flowers. Can you see? Now I'm going to tear this one. Tear it if you're struggling. Tear it. It's much easier. It's much easier using scissors. Mm -mm. Okay, so we're going to tear down. Can you see here? We're going to tear down. Let's do a zoom. And then you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to actually tear down the sides to make the petals. Okay, so we're going to just tear down there. Can you see? Or you can cut it. 
Okay. All right. So you can cut it or you can tear it. Whatever you would like to do. Okay. So we're going to make, those are going to be your petals of your flower. Can you see? There we go. And this is the bottom of our flower. Okay. So let's keep tearing, tearing your petals. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm tearing them. Or you can cut it. It's much, much easier to tear it. There we go. Can you see my petals in my egg box? And if it's got a little funny piece sticking out, you can just cut it off. And you can shape the petals. You can ask mommy to help you shape the petals nicely for you. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's try and clean up all these little bits out of the way. And then you can see I've got a few flowers here with petals. How are your egg box flowers coming? Are they looking good? <laughs> Okay, let's make sure we got some petals. And what I want you to do when we finish sticking our flowers and they're all dry, after this lesson you can paint them. Okay, or you can color them in. But I think it will look really pretty if you paint them. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready to stick now? Do you have some glue? I'll show you what we're going to do. Instead of just having one little flower, we are going to put them inside of each other. Okay, so can you see where that, where the eggs would sit? We're going to put a bit of glue there. Okay, I'm going to glue, glue, glue. And then I'm going to put one of my flowers I've cut out inside. Okay, so we're actually going to layer it. Okay, we're actually going to layer it. Okay, can you see there? So that there are lots of different petals, okay? It's quite nice to put at least three together. Okay, then you glue it again. And then you're going to stick some another one in. So you have a little bit of, can you see that? The petals are actually just all going around. They look so pretty. Okay. And now I'm going to do another one. This one doesn't have many petals. I'm going to glue it in the middle. And then I'm going to layer it again. So we put three flowers together. Okay. One. Then we take another flower that we've already cut and we put it inside, okay? It just makes the flower it have lots of petals and it has more dimension. Okay, there we go. You can always neaten your petals a little bit if you need to. If you need to trim them a little bit, cut them a bit better, you can. Okay, some of them will go up high and some of them... Don't go up so high. Beautiful. I made a weird flower. Charlotte made her own little flower. Look here. She cut lots of little spikes. Yeah, lots of little spikes to make a little flower. Mm, okay, you can do that as well. That would be very nice if you stick this one in the middle. Okay, so you can make any kind of flower you want, any creation you want. Now I'm sticking my third flower inside. And it looks so pretty because it's layered. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Can you see my three? Well, actually, I've got six flowers here. Okay. But there are only three on each one. Okay, so it's got lots of different layers. Lots of different petals. And you're going to need it to dry properly before you can paint it or anything. Can you see? I think it looks so pretty. There we go. Lovely. 
So if you want to, you can color a little bit inside, make it, this is the middle, then you can see a little bit what I'm doing. This is the middle of the flower, just so you can see. Okay, and then you can paint this later. Won't that be fun? I think that will be super fun. Okay, you can paint all the petals different colors. Lovely. Here's another different flower that Shiloh made from an egg box. So you can use an egg box to make all sorts of creations. You can make your own flower and you can make it however you want to. Okay, there's another flower there. Look, this is a tall skinny one. <laughs> Lovely, beautiful. Okay, shall we do our counting while we finish up our flowers? We're going to listen to a counting video and you can finish off your flowers for me, okay? Alarm goes off, ring, ring, ring. Twenty jelly beans run, dash, dash, dash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so we counted to 20. Did you finish your flowers yet? Lots of hard work, hey? Are your hands a little bit sore? Give your hands a little bit of a break. Let's stretch them out. Open, close. You work very hard with your fingers and your hands. Give them a little bit of a break. Can you do that? Good. Shake them, shake them. Okay. Can you do this? Side to side, hands on your shoulders. Come on, let's get some. There we go. And up and down, and up and down, and shake your hands. Shake your body, shake your head. Shake, 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 shake. There we go. Okay, let's go back to our flowers. Okay, here are my flowers. Okay, there we go. You see, you can make lots of different colors and shapes. There you go, Charlotte just colored hers in with a koki. Okay, and it looks like a real flower. Isn't it pretty? Okay, there we go. So we just took our egg box and we cut the egg box out. The bottom part where all the eggs sit in. We cut around it and we cut down to make petals. We cut out the petals just down to the bottom or you could tear them. Okay. And then you can put these flowers, you can put them on a pipe cleaner if you want. You can put a pipe cleaner here or a straw and that can be a flower on the stem. Very pretty. And you can still paint it and decorate that later. Okay, I want to see you doing that later. Let me know how it turned out. And you can give this to your mommy. She'll be very happy if you give her some flowers. Okay. Are we ready to move on? Are you still busy? Okay, I'm going to get my macaroni out. Or my penne, should I say. As long as it's pasta that's got a hole in it, okay? It doesn't have to have color in it. I just put some in a little bag, a Ziploc bag with food coloring, and I just shook it. And I turned, I turned into this. 
One was blue and one was red. Okay, do you have something to thread with now? Okay, we need something to thread. Okay, moms, you're going to need to please help and just tie a knot on the one side of the string or of the floss or whatever you have so that it doesn't fall off, okay? Moms are going to need to help you with this part. Okay, it's a bit more difficult. Okay, I'm busy tying my knot here. Because if we don't tie a knot, what's going to happen to the pasta? It's going to just fall right off. Okay, just be careful. Because it will still come off. Okay, and then we are going to thread. You can make a necklace if you want. Or you can make bracelet. a bracelet. You can make whatever you would like. Okay. Yeah, that's a good and idea. And too small. No. Okay, then you just hold it down nicely. And just, just go up until then. Okay. Then we'll tie it together. Yeah. And if you're if you're not just I'm using floss and it's a bit difficult here. It's a you can't make a big enough knot. So what you do is you just put your dental floss or whatever on the table. And you can just thread up until there, so it doesn't fall off, okay? Here we go, we use two hands. And again, it's a good idea to put your macaroni on the opposite side. If your child is right-handed, they've got to cross the body to pick up the pasta to thread it, okay? That's crossing the midline. So there we go. If you can't... Have a big enough hole. There we go. I'm just putting it on the table. And you can see it won't fall off now. And then we can tie it at the end. And you can wear your pretty necklace or your bracelet. Okay, threading. And if you want to, if you don't have any color on yours, you can always just color it in afterwards with a koki. Just be careful not to push too hard. Here we go. And then you can have this necklace forever. See, there we go. It's not falling because it's on the table. It's much easier than holding it up. Good job. Is yours looking nice? There we go. I don't know what I'm making it. A necklace? Yeah, my necklace will fit. Okay. And then you just do it, not right until the end, because you need a little bit of space to tie it, okay? So I can do another maybe one or two. Because you need space to tie it. Don't forget to leave space to tie it. Okay, I'm going to put a blue one on Okay. Okay, can you see there? I can maybe put one more in, but I need, you need quite a bit of space to tie it, moms and dads, so leave some space at the top to tie it. Okay, hold it like that. Hold it carefully when you pick it up, because what's going to happen is it will all come off and then you'll get very upset. So make sure you hold it on both ends so it doesn't fall. Okay, and then you can tie it. Okay, mom and dad, you'll have to help with this part. Just hold it here for me, please. Okay, I'm helping Charlotte tie it at the back here. Okay, she's left enough string here. And just give it a few knots so it doesn't come off. Okay. <laughs> It is. Let's see. What does it look like? Oh, look at her necklace. Does it look pretty? 
There we go. Okay, and you can do lots of different things. You can thread shells on or beads. Okay, let me do my one. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Look at my one. Does it look pretty? <laughs> Does it look nice? Did you put yours on? I might make a bracelet too. Yes, and you can, if you want to make more after this, you can make a bracelet or a watch or whatever you want. Okay, there's mine. Do you like my pretty necklace? Isn't it nice? <laughs> okay, so if you want to make a, a bracelet as well, you can. Just remember it's a smaller one over your, your wrist. Okay, and then don't tie it too tight. Okay, we don't want to block our blood circulation. Just quite keep it loose enough that you can still get the blood flow through. Okay, wasn't that fun? Let's see if we can read one more story. Would you like to hear one more story? Okay, we have time for one more story. Okay, are you ready? The giraffe who got in a knot. <laughs> and we made lots of knots today, didn't we? Okay. When Cardwell Giraffe happened to spy a quite irresistible camel thorn tree. Giraffes like to eat from the camel thorn tree, the sight of which made Cardwell weak at the knees. Look, the sun was ablaze in the African sky. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, bless my spots. To think I was born to feast upon such a fine camel thorn. <laughs> Without further bother or fuss or ado, he opened his mouth and he started to chew. Out curled his tongue and in went the leaves of that fine camel thorn, most delicious of trees. Oh goodness, what has happened to him? In a rapture of eating, his eyes slowly closed. Have you ever done that before? You're eating something, enjoying it so much, and you close your eyes. <laughs> he followed his nose, sniffity sniff, chomping here and chomping there. Can you make some chomping, chomping? With the scent of fresh camel thorn filling the air. Mm. He chewed and chewed and carried on chewing. But he couldn't see what he was doing, for he bent and he had contorted himself such a lot that he tied his neck up in a big spotted knot. Oh dear! <laughs> At least we can't do that, eh? We can't tie our neck in a knot. What have I done? he cried. What shall I do? I wish I had kept my eyes open to chew. Oh, Funny, how funny I look. My friends will all laugh. Oh, how will we undo such a naughty giraffe? By now, all the beasts of the African jungle had gathered around to observe Cardwell's bungle. Can you see the zebra, a monkey, an elephant, a lion, ostrich? They're all busy looking at Cardwell. Cardwell's a shorty, a shorty they tease. From now on you'll have to find much shorter trees. Because look at his neck, it's in a big knot. Cried Cardwell, please help me untie myself. Please, said Zebra, you must come undone if you sneeze. You might come undone if you sneeze. Do you think you will? Let's see. So they tickled his nose till he sneezed with such power. What did they use? A feather. That ostrich's feathers blew off in a shower. My goodness, that was a big sneeze. But the sneeze did not work. 
Its only effect was to tighten that big spotted knot in his neck. Oh, dear me. Then, tugging and twisting, the elephant tried with all of his strength to get Cardwell untied. Look, the elephants are so strong, they're trying to pull him and trying to get the knot undone. Stop it, yelled Cardwell. Oh, stop it, please do. If you keep on much longer, my spots will turn blue. Oh, look at him, he's not very happy. I think they're pulling a little bit too tight. At this stage, Bundubird hopped on his head. Now, Caldwell, just do as I ask you, he said. Wherever I fly, let your head follow me. Don't worry, I'm sure this will work. Wait and see. Then he fluttered and flittered around Caldwell's head. Well, Caldwell's eyes followed wherever he led. So he's flying and he's going like this. And he's looking. <laughs> When he stopped, the dismay on the animals' faces told Cardwell he now had knots in oh, three places. Then Lionel Lion, who was usually right, growled, What Cardwell needs is a good jolly fright. So he sat before Cardwell, opened his jaws, and let out the most ferocious of roars. Oh, look at his face! <laughs> Cardwell recoiled, he shuddered and shivered from the shock of that roar that Lionel delivered. His teeth rattled loose, his eardrums were shattered, but was he loose? Did he have any knots left? No, his neck was quite straight and that was what mattered. The animals burst into joyful applause as the tumult went up from their hooves and their paws. Okay, they were making a big noise, but they were so happy. And I'm sure the giraffe was also very, very happy. Now, Cardwell said Lionel, the next time you're chewing, keep your eyes open and watch what you're doing. Yes, sir, said Cardwell, just as sure as I'm spotted. That's the very last time I shall get myself knotted. That's funny. There we go. Okay, so you remember what happened in the story? He was enjoying his lovely leaves from the camel thorn tree and he closed his eyes and he got a knot in his neck. And then he got three knots in his neck. And the only way that he was able to get unknotted, what happened? Can you remember? Who helped him? It was the lion who gave him a fright. Lovely story. The giraffe who got in a knot. Okay, so today, what did we do? We did some lovely threading. Let's go to our desk just to recap what we've done. We did some threading. Okay, you can do this anytime at home. Lots of fun. Okay, we made our beautiful flowers. Didn't we? And our lovely necklaces okay and we did some threading show them yours Shiloh there is there's her necklace okay and you can make some bangles and rings whatever you want it was lovely to have you all here with us today we will see you tomorrow tomorrow is Friday okay and we are going to be doing some baking and we're going to make a flower with popcorn, little kernels, don't pop them, just the kernels, and some tea bags, inside of a tea bag, and we're also going to do some building with toilet paper, we're going to make a tower, or you can use cups, okay, I can't wait to see you tomorrow, thank you for joining us, bye!